Let's translate John chapter 10, verses 11 through 15. Ego imi o pimin o kalos. O pimin o kalos tin psychin of two tethisin iperton provaton. O mistotos ke uk on pimin u uk estinta probata idia theori ton lichon lichon erkomenon ke afisin ta probata ke fe, fevgi ke olikos arpatsi of ta ke scorpizi oti mistotos estin ke umeli of to periton probaton ego imi o pimin o kalos ke genosko ta emma ke genoskusi meta emma kathos genoski me o patir kago genosko ton patera ke tin psichin mu tithimi iperton probaton I am the shepherd, the good, the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life on behalf of the sheep. The hired, indeed, or nevertheless, is not the shepherd. Who is not the sheep's own or the owner of the sheep? The hired, this is what the subject is. The hired sees the wolf, sees the wolf coming, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf snatches away the sheep snatches them away and scatters scatters them because the hired he is hired and it is no concern to him regarding the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and they, they, well, my, mine know me just as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. A lot of verses here, so bear with me as I try and make it work in the space I have. So we have Ego Imi, I am. This is from Exodus chapter 3, when God reveals his name to Moses. Ego Imi, I am. I am the good shepherd. So when you have a predicate nominative like we do here, uh, the predicate nominative is going to have the article. And because we are also dealing with an adjective, kalos, it has to match in number and gender and definiteness. So, o pimin o kalos. I am the good shepherd. Now, Jesus then goes on to say, what is the good shepherd? So this runs parallel with ego. I am the or the good shepherd lays down, there's our verb, the life, his life, for the sheep. Okay, so that's John 10, verse 11. Verse 12, now we transition to a comparison. We have the hired the hired it's a contrast 
Now in this case, K is not joining anything here. So this is more of like an adverb. We'll talk about that later. The sheep, nevertheless, I'm sorry, the hired, nevertheless, being not the shepherd. So this is a participial phrase. Own here being a participle, so it's not our main verb. Then we have a relative clause here, and it's modifying misthotos. So, of whom, the hired of whom is not the sheep's own or the owner's, the owner of the sheep. So this is all one relative clause. This, this is also not our main verb. Then we get to our main verb over here. I'm going to put it over here in parallel. So you can see it's, this is our subject of this verb. Sees the sheep coming or the wolf coming. Sees the wolf coming. Now we have a conjunction. And he leaves the sheep behind. What a good caretaker. And then another conjunction. And then he flees. Now we have an emphatic result. Move this over here. This is kind of an aside. The wolf snatches them and scatters them. I'm going to move this over here. And we'll go ahead and make it like this. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put it right up here. There we go. So that's verse 12. Then we have verse 13. There we go. I was missing this K. And what we can do is move it like that. There we go. I like that better. So you can see the contrast here, the contrast here. Whoa, didn't mean to do that. Contrast here. And now we can get down to verse 13. Why? Why does all this happen? It's because he is hired. So we need to move this over here. Why? Avtos is implied right here. This is the subject. Third person singular, he is, Avtos, hired. Okay, if we leave it over here, you could say, hired he is. Okay, so we're going to smooth it out. He is hired. And does not... We'll move this like that. And this will fall under here. So we have because he is hired and it is of no concern to him regarding the sheep. Now we'll come to verse 14. Move this all down. I am the good shepherd. Now we've come back to where we started. Right? I am the good shepherd. 
and I know it's conjunction. I know mine and mine. They know me. Okay. John 15. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. So I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired indeed, or nevertheless, uh, is not the shepherd who is not the, the sheep's own or the owner of the sheep. He sees the wolf coming. He leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them away and chases after them because he is hired and is not concerned or and there is no concern to him regarding the sheep i am the good shepherd and i know mine and mine know me just as the father knows me and i know the father and i lay down my life for the sheep so you can see here in terms of vocabulary we have p mean This is a shepherd, sheep herder. Kalos here being good. Uh, it could be beautiful, handsome, fine, good, useful. Unobjectionable, blameless, excellent. Psyche here, life. It's typically translated around like soul, but here it clearly means life. The condition of being alive, earthly life, life. Tithi me. To put place into a particular location, to lay, to put. In some translations, it might be explain, take off, give up, show deference to place before someone, serve, have in mind, um, to have an effect or arrange for something, to put in custody, to provide, to lay aside, deposit money, put aside, store up, deposit. There's a lot of different translations for it, but its basic meaning is to lay down or to put, to lay. The semantic boundaries of this multivalent verb are quite flexible. And then probaton here, sheep. Used of the people of God. So it's allegorical. 
Mistotos. The hired man used of fishers, shepherds. In this case, the Mistotos is inferior. So K here isn't simply and. The hired and not being the shepherd. And could work, but it's really broken in English. So in this case, it's going to function a little differently. Normally, it's a marker of connections, right? But it's not connecting anything. So we're going to go down here. We're still looking. It's a very extensive article entry here. Emphasizing a fact as surprising or unexpected or noteworthy. And yet, and in spite of that, nevertheless. So the hired is not the good shepherd. If anything's being connected, it's the contrast between the good shepherd and the hired. The hired, nevertheless, is not the shepherd. Here we see the participle own. This is from a me. So to be. Uh, we do see os here. The, that's interesting. It's linked to the wrong word. It's clearly os. Ook is listed here. Or I'm sorry, John 10, 12 is listed here because of ook. But it's clearly linked to the wrong one. Yeah, this is os. It's a relative pronoun. Who, which, what, or that. Who is used to negate the indicative, so it makes sense that it's here. And here we have the indicative, third person singular, present in um, of imi. Now, idea is from idios. And it pertains to belonging or uh, being related to oneself, one's own. This can be of individuals, uh, but can also pertain to a striking connection or an exclusive relationship, simply translated own. So some examples here with our own hands, one's own brother, that is my brother. It's not simply equivalent to the possessive genitive in the phrase in the heart of him. It could be pertaining to a person through substitution for a pronoun. As a substitute or a substantive person or thing associated with an entity. E, E, D, E, comrades in battle, fellow Christians, compatriots, the disciples, relatives, but this can be used of home or possessions, ta-idia, home. Ectone idion from his well own well stock supply. Of whom the sheep This is third singular, so we can't say the sheep is the subject. Here you see, prasin ta'idia, mind your own business. Ta'idia, one's own affairs. So it's the sheep's own. Pertaining to being distinctively characteristic of some entity belonging to, peculiar to, an individual.
Ta idia probata his own sheep, John 10.3. This one's really close. John 10, 3 and following. Ta probata idia. His own sheep. So in this example, ta probata idia, even though idia is plural, it's still singular in translation. His. The sheep are not his own. Except it's not the sheep are not his own. He is not the owner of the sheep. The oreo, this is to see, perceive, Likon wolf. So this is Likos. Erkomenon, this is Erkome. To come, to go. Afiimi. So this is to dismiss or release someone or something from a place or one's uh, presence. So this is to go, let go, send away, give up, omit, or even divorce. It can also be to release from legal or moral obligation, cancel, remit, pardon. But also to move away with implication of causing a separation, leave, depart from. So this is abandon. And then Fevgi, this is Fevgo. This is to flee. Seek safety in flight. Safe from danger. Escape. It's also flee, avoid, shun, but that's not the context here. It's definitely regarding safety. And then the wolf, Arpazi. Okay, this is Apazo, to snatch away. Steal, carry off, drag away. And then Scorpizzi. This is Scorpizzo. Scorpizzo. So scatter, disperse, cause to go in different directions. Scatter abroad, distribute. He is hired. And it is Meli. Third person singular of Mello used impersonally and also personally. It is a care or concern is of interest to someone followed by Perry, about, mellow, Perry. Peritone, provatone, care for the sheep. But instead of care, let's say concern. Is of no concern for the sheep. Is of no concern to him for the sheep. And then we have Gnosko. To arrive at a knowledge of someone or something. To know about, make acquaintance of. Learn, ascertain, find out, understand, comprehend. Perceive, notice, realize, or even intercourse. That's clearly not the case here. Come to the knowledge of, have come to know. So they know me. Emos. This is pertaining to me, the speaker, especially as possessor, agent, or object of an action. My or mine. I know mine. And here it's substantive. We know it's substantive because it has the article in front of it. My property. Well, we know that this plural here is in reference to probata. Probaton. Sheep. Which was used all the way back up here. Probaton. 
Probata. So this is in reference to that. So you can say mine or my sheep. And my sheep, they know me. So here we have the personal pronoun in the accusative, me, and it means me. So that's the difference between me here and Emma. Then we have a conjunction, kathos, just as. It's a comparison. It could be comparison, just as, or it could be of extent or degree to which, as to the degree that, or of cause, since, insofar as, um, or temporality. So in this case, it's a comparison, right? We're comparing between God, or I'm sorry, between Jesus and the sheep, the good shepherd and the sheep, and we're comparing between the Father and Jesus. So just as, it's a comparison. Just as the Father knows me, kago. Kago is a like a conjunction, K plus ego and I. So you can see right here, K plus ego and I. And I know the Father. And I lay down my life, iper ton probaton. Iper means uh, with the genitive. It's a marker indicating that an activity or event is in some entity's interest. So you would translate it for, in behalf of, for the sake of someone or something. So I lay down my life for the sake of the sheep. And here's verse 15. After expressions of suffering, dying, devoting oneself, die for someone or something. So translate it for, I lay my, my life down for the sheep. Now, we could translate tone here, even though it's the de definite article, we could translate it my I lay my life down for my sheep. Uh, literally, it's for the sheep. But sometimes the definite article can function in that way and be translated my. This one, that one, the. Here's an example. O Adelphos, his brother. The reason why that works is it's still pointing towards a specific entity, a definite entity. So that's one example right there. You can also see Egini, your wife, as opposed to the wife. So you could translate it that way. You don't have to. And so to translate it, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. The hired, nevertheless, is not the shepherd, who is not the owner of the sheep. He sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf carries them away and chases after them. Because he is hired and it is not a concern to him for the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and my sheep know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for my sheep. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Otherwise, brush up on your Greek and Hebrew, and we'll see you next time.